Yes. Like, literally, the smallest wannabe gangster you ever seen in your life. Zip with no drip. This guy right here, let me talk to you about this guy. This guy's, this guy, we have to talk about this guy. This is the guy who, uh, he was in prison. And to let y'all know the truth of everything, see, because I'm the guy who's going to bring you the truth of all situations. Anything I talk about is going to be the truth, you know? So like, comment, and subscribe when you want to hear the truth about all these guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to hear the truth about all these guys. Okay? Uh, without further ado, we're going to address the smallest gangster in the, that was in the prison system. Uh, zip with no drip. This guy, literally, listen to the words that I'm saying in my mouth. This guy was in prison on his last round. You know, when you're getting ready to come home, give it a year, two years. He sought out Hassan Campbell. Yeah. He sought him out, learned about him, before he came home. Listen to me. See, Hassan didn't know this. He learned about him before he came home. Yeah. Go put some water on your face. Okay? What I need you to do is just don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about me and all that. I need you to look at him. That's what I need you to do. I need you to just look at him. Look at him. Okay? You gotta understand the plan. He sought Hassan Campbell out before he came home. That's That's called stalking. Ain't that stalking? <coughs> Excuse me. Look at him. The world's smallest gangster. Okay, we're gonna leave that right there. The world's smallest on this guy's body. He's always talking about his body parts and all the time. Look at him. He's a mosquito. The biggest body thing on his body is his beard. His nasty beard. His his nasty beard that got all those all of the, the couch lint or like lint that's on that couch is stuck in his beard when he wakes up. Now let me tell y'all he sought out Hassan Campbell, the million dollar bump, before he came home. See, Hassan didn't know this. He sought him out. He was on the internet. Like, oh, this the hot guy. He sought him out. He pursued him. He reached him. Yeah, this is different, baby. He reached him, got in touch with Hassan Campbell to get next to him. He been new. Ed. Go look at the videos if you if you if you think anything is with me. I'm lying or something like that. I need you to listen to the voice because this is the voice that's gonna take over the radio. 
this is going this is the voice that's going to take over the airwaves this is the voice that you're going to want to listen to when you wake up in the morning yeah put some water on your face okay yeah now he sought out Hassan Campbell pursued him captured him and buttered his bag off okay <laughs> butted his bag off. All right, he butted his bag off. He found them. He 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 befriended him, knowing everything about him. He took a year too. He had a long time to get through the nicks and crannies, learn about his likes, learn about his dislikes. This is what he did. This is what he does. He executed the plan. Right, came home, got released got with him, executed the plan, befriended him, made Hassan feel like he wanted to help him. He saw a lot of himself in him. Zip, yeah, zip, zip with the drip. No drip, zip with the drip that has no drip. The guy who uh runs around and hides in the back of the showers with Jonathan and Jacob and Junior. Jonathan, Jacob, and Junior. Yeah, you remember the song from from uh, Lloyd Banks, Beaver, Banks, and Bentley? Yeah. Jonathan, Jacob, and Junior. Yeah. Beaver, Banks, and Bentley's No, Jonathan, Jacob, and Junior. Yeah. You know about you, Sammy. Little Sammy... Little Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis. This is him. Spitting image. When I say spitting image, I mean spitting image. See, now, don't get it confused. Because if you see him, he might look like Sammy Davis Jr. to you. Depending how, depending on how much, how much of that bull crap weed he smoked, he might look like Bill Cosby to you. Now, don't get it confused. Not the Bill Cosby from the Huxtables. Not that Bill Cosby. I'm talking about Saturday Night Bill Cosby. Yeah. Put some water on your face. <laughs> You're never going to. This voice is going to be embedded in your, in your DNA. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Okay. This is the guy. Who, wants, who wanted to be an aspiring YouTuber. So he got with Hassan, you know, befriended him. Got a little popularity. Hassan put him on his page, helped him out again. A lot of helping going on out here. You know, all these self-made guys, you're gonna hear a whole bunch of self-made stuff from these guys' lips. But for some strange reason, there's always a lot of helping going on out here. All these guys. You got Tack Stone helping the little the little Sammy Davis Jr. face with an interview. There's a lot of help out here. So when you see these guys come on YouTube and they, they you know they give you this this style and, and this act like like they self-made or they did some or they're some kind of special guy. Or they just like a, you know, some kind of celebrity or, you know, just someone that people automatically attracts to. Don't go for it. These guys, a lot of these guys are bozos. All right, begging for help behind the scenes. They call people behind the scenes and beg them. The voice you never hear. You'll never hear that voice. You'll never hear those words. Those behind the scenes begging. Like when Hassan was Begging Doggy Diamonds behind the scenes, begging Star, begging Senada. Yeah, put some water on your face. These is begging bums. That's what they are. Yeah, and they be real happy when they go to YouTube and it get a little bit of views, and and you see them uh uh doing the thumbnails on their YouTube channel saying better late than never. Better late than 
better what? You didn't do nothing. What are you talking about? Better late where? All right? You're not going nowhere. All right? Sammy, you messed with the wrong guy. I'm pretty sure you met somebody, you talked to somebody that said, you messed with the wrong guy. Pack, you should have not messed with him. He's really a real rapper. He's really a real producer. He really got over 25 years in hip hop with mainstream artists, big names. Been around everybody, did it. Look, listen, did everything you wanted to do in the industry. Boy, you messed with the wrong one. You and your little friends, you done mess with the wrong voice. You mess with the voice that's gonna shut you down. You mess with the voice that's gonna talk to the people. You mess with the voice that the people is gonna connect with. You mess with the voice that the people is gonna vibe with and say, you know what? From sitting down listening to him, I think he's right. These guys are bozos. I'm gonna subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna like. And I'm gonna comment because he's talking the truth. And it's about time somebody comes on social media and give people the real spill. Real spill. You understand? This is the real spill. Leave it in the comments. Yo, Pat, you got the real spill. Okay? Because these guys is not the real deal. Okay? They get on YouTube lying. They need favors. They're trying to come up. You understand? You got this one right here, Lil Sammy. He does nothing all day long but make videos and spend the people's money, hard-earned money, on weed. He spends the Super Channel marijuana and smokes it in front of their face on the camera. That's crazy. How you, how you take the people money? Spend it on drugs and smoke it in their face. You out of line, buddy. You out of line. And it's time to put you back. Put you back under the couch, brother. It's time to put you back under the couch. Okay? You mess with the wrong guy. So now you got to get dragged. You're going to get dragged because you don't do nothing special. You say you rap. You're not rapping. We don't hear no raps. I just dropped a diss song on you. It's called Everything Dead. All right? I produced the track. I wrote the raps. Everything. These guys can't come stand next to me in talent area. In the talent area... They know better than to stand next to me, to come near me. They don't, they would never do that. Look at them. Look at them. All right? He'll never do that. He got old, don't listen to him. They come home, you know, it's, we all heard it all before, bro. You come home, you got the little old school jail raps, a bunch of little old raps you wrote. You memorize them, you can say it backwards and forward. The little corny raps is outdated. Do you understand what that means? Like the milk in your fridge, outdated. You understand? It's spoiled. Don't drink it, okay? Put some water on your face. Do you understand this? You're getting dragged. Yeah, we just did another video on your partner there, on your buddy. This video right here is about rubber, rubber booty hole, rubber booty hole zip. Rubber, but with the man who put oranges, who can stuff oranges in his rectum, the size of California, Florida oranges up his rectum, two at a time, okay? Talk, smile with him. He can eat with him up there. He can go to the ball court. He can play a game of ball with him up there. He does all kinds of things. This guy is amazing. We call him Plastic Man. He's Plastic Man. Plastic Man. <laughs> See, 
the difference with me, I don't got to keep coming on here, jumping around, showing my face, trying to get popularity. I'm already popular. Everybody in the world knows, not everybody in the world, but, you know, a whole lot of people know who I am already. I've been doing this over 25 years, all right? They taking clips of my voice and adding it to the radio. That's how good they like in my voice right now. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. So just get prepared for a whole lot of stuff, new ventures. That's all I'm going to tell you. But uh, you got the guy, Sammy Davis Jr. He's out here frauding the people. I right? don't believe nothing he says. He's a liar. He's a drug addict. He's a weed head. He's a marijuana weed head liar. A little small, small man complex in his life, throughout his life. All right? This is what I'm telling you. This is Pac talking to you. And you ain't got to take my word. All you got to do is look at him. Look at him. Look at him. This is the world's smallest gangster. <laughs> Ooh. Don't let him scare you. Okay? Don't let the don't let the slang don't let the slang scare you. <laughs> Look at him. 